Hey guys, and welcome to Benjamin's Rust Adventures. I was going to make this video whenever they introduced the elevators, but I was waiting to see if it was patched, and it wasn't patched, so here's the video. I haven't seen anybody else make a video about this, and I haven't seen the, eleva the elevators used in a, this manner, so I don't think it's widely known yet, but it's pretty hilarious. So you can see this base here, it's just a standard metal base. It's metal to make sure that if someone raids it, they go through the doors. And if you do go through the doors when raiding. And a satchel raid is very common if you have sheet metal doors like this. But once the enemy gets through the sheet metal door, they're going to have a surprise waiting for them. And it is an elevator. And it's an elevator. It doesn't have to be powered. It doesn't have to serve any function. But what it does is it prevents entry into the base. And because it is a deployable, you can see that it took a little bit of damage from the satchels, but they're pretty strong. Like, it, it's going to take at least four more satchels, maybe more, to blow this thing up to get through, just to get into the airlock of the base. If you have sheet metal doors on your base and you use elevators in your airlocks and your your square airlocks, you're essentially doubling the raid cost if they were to go through the doors. Let's see where we're at. Yep. So it took eight satchels to get through into the airlock whenever it should have just taken four. And then same thing here. I'm going to put an elevator down here. Close the door. And same thing. Here it's interesting because if you use garage doors like this and you put them facing this direction where the roller is on the inside, you have to take care of the elevator first, which is really demoralizing for a raider. So they're going to have to blow up the elevator before they can even get to the garage door. And interestingly enough, I'll show y'all in a second. The Whenever you damage an elevator from this side with the garage door on the other side, it actually doesn't splash it. So we're going to have to fully blow up this elevator and then the garage door is going to be undamaged. So the because uh, the garage door isn't a deployable or not a... a it's a, it's more of a... The game doesn't treat garage doors in a similar fashion with the, the splash damage as other deployables. So once this thing's gone, you can see... Oh, okay, the, the garage door has taken one damage. <laughs> so now, you know, we're already up to 16 satchels, and we're still in the damn airlock of the base. We're still in the first room, and we're 16 satchels deep. So obviously using the elevators can be a, a, a huge boon to the defense of your base. And what I really like about them is you can pick them up. And I know the first thing that I thought is, well, do they take durability damage so you have to repair them every time? And the answer is no, they don't. Elevators don't take any type of durability damage whenever you pick them up. You can set them down and pick them up as many times as you want to. Um, I honestly think that you could use these for online raid defense. If someone was raiding your base and they were going through your base and your base allowed for this type of thing, you could come in, and if you didn't have time to, to put a door up or things were getting real nasty, you could just come in and <laughs> drop an elevator. And uh, it, another interesting thing about the elevators is they're durable for melee as well. You can see I'm going to hit it with a pickaxe here. I mean, if you had like a clan of 10 people, yes, you're going to be able to pickaxe it down. You can see that it, it does eventually take damage after three or four swings. But if you... Do this yourself. I, I looked on Rust Labs and it was something crazy like it takes like 30 or 45 minutes to, to take one of these down with a pickaxe. And you can see that it, it hammers the pickaxe out pretty quick too. So, yes, they can take it out, especially if they had like five jackhammers. But, you know, you're screwed already if you have five guys with five jackhammers trying to raid your base. And they're probably just going to blow it up anyway. Another great thing about the elevators is if they were to rocket the top of your base, let's say they splash these four squares here, they rocket at the top of your base and you had the, the elevators set up. Now they the, the, the elevators have created a second 
uh, a second layer of uh, vertical raid defense. And there's no way to easily get through them here either. You can see they're just as strong from the top. So now the enemy still can't get into your base even though they blew the, the ceiling. Obviously this isn't going to turn into some amazing meta or anything, but depending on how your base is, is laid out and depending on the... Depending on if you're if the entry to your base, if it allows for this type of thing, and you have room for it, it can absolutely be a a a raid saver. Because a lot of times, if you if someone's coming to raid a, a small base like a a two by two, and you know they're they're coming in there, they know what's in there. There's going to be you know one door, two door, three door, four door. That's all they're going to have to deal with, especially on, on let's say it's wipe day and someone wants you out of their territory, they're going to farm up just enough satchels to go through these four doors, and they're going to come over here, and whenever they open the door, it's going to be elevator time. And they're not going to have enough explosives flat out. They're just not going to have enough. So, again, it, it's, this isn't supposed to be some radical game-changing meta or anything like that, but in, in the right circumstances, I think it could be really valuable. Thanks for watching, everybody.